everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Art New Vogue with your host, Gris, aka Leilani Joy. This is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. Well, I have to say that I'm especially excited today to share a tribute piece that I will be doing to the new Nintendo Switch and PC game entitled Gris, produced by Nomada Studios and the incredible imagination, artwork, and style of one of my personal art idols, Conrad Rosette. And um, actually a fan, I have to give a shout out to my dear friend William Kogoy, who sent me the first trailer of this game like months ago in November, I think. And I'm a gamer, if you guys don't know, and I'm also a huge, huge fan of Watercolor and Ivan Earl and Studio Ghibli and the game Journey. And basically this game puts all of those things in one together. And I nearly cried. I really did. I welled up watching the trailer for this game. And um, for a couple of reasons, not only because it was just so, so gorgeously done, but also that I was like, Will I ever make anything this amazing? I was also like in this state of shock and disappointment that I somehow had nothing to do with this beautiful thing being created. But that said, um, it's never too late to pay tribute to something that you love and are inspired by. So back in December, Nomada Studios hosted a Gris Design Poster Contest, and I'm still devastated that I did not know about this. Um, I had only kind of found out about the trailer, and it was like Christmas time, and I was super busy, so I didn't know that they had this art contest where you could design a poster for Gris that would actually be sold and released officially. So I know I'm too late for that, but I still want to um, pay tribute to that and do my version of what I would have done for the contest. So without further ado, I'll talk a little bit more about the game and the inspiration as we go on, but I'm gonna show you my process using today all purely Arteza art supplies. So I have a review video of all the products I'm gonna use that you can find on my channel. And you can also use my affiliate link if you wanna try any of these Arteza products. Okay guys, well let's go paint Gris. So the game Gris is basically a 2D side-scroller platformer game with sort of this deep emotional story and interpretive kind of meaning to it. And I'm not going to give anything away because I want you to play it and have your own personal experience. It also has an incredibly gorgeous score, which I can't play for you on my video, but I'm going to find some music that kind of sounds like it. Um, I definitely advise you to check out the soundtrack, even if you don't have access to the game, because it's beautiful. And of course, one of the first things that jumped out at me when seeing the trailer and playing it for the first time is the very heavy influence of Ivan Earl. And as you guys know, Ivan Earl is a huge inspiration of mine, which is why when I saw this, um, his style applied in a game, I was just like, oh, that's just such a beautiful idea, especially for a platformer. <laughs> I try to enjoy the game while I'm playing it, but I can't help but just take screenshot after screenshot. And some of these are my own screenshots for reference. And oh, I just love them. Every single moment in this game is like a painting. Um, here's some early Gris concept art that was actually quite loose and graphic. And in the game, she kind of transforms from this very simple little geometric shape into a little bit more detailed on the close-ups. So I'm going to kind of combine those elements together and um, create my own interpretation of her face. Um, I also want to give her a little bit more determination and bravery um, because as you as you play, you see that she learns and grows and becomes stronger. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump in to my tribute to Gris. So to paint this piece, I am using Arteza's Premium Watercolors, and this is the first time that I've used them, and I had a lovely experience with them. I'm using their light green and some cerulean blue to mix my very own turquoise here because I really want to have this like um, blue-green hair color that she has, and look at that beautiful color that I was able to make. I really love these, so make sure you check these out if you'd like to try watercolors.
Now to give her little cube companion a really graphic flat look, I am mixing some white acrylic in with watercolor and I'm doing an added layer on top of this because I don't really want him to feel as soft and painterly as her form. I want him to feel more geometric. So I want this to be very graphic and the acrylic combines really nicely with watercolor. Now for the finishing details, I'm really excited to use Arteza's water-based fine liner pens. Now here's some colors that I've chosen and I'm going to do all my line work on top of my fully dried watercolor to get some really cool textures and lines. Now that my watercolor and traditional painting process is finished, I'm going to finish this piece in Photoshop to design my poster. And there you have it guys, my finished poster design tribute to Gris. I hope you've enjoyed the process and you'll support this beautiful game on PC or Nintendo Switch. This image won't be available in my shop, but please check out my Patreon for more behind the scenes looks and exclusive rewards for February 2019 only. Also, I've recently collaborated with 7 Skin Tattoos on Etsy, so if you'd like to make a not-so-permanent commitment to one of my original designs, check these out. They are incredibly realistic-looking temporary tattoos, and with proper care, they can last up to 10 days or more. I am obsessed with them. Aren't these gorgeous? Find them all over at etsy.com slash shop slash 7th Skin. Finally, from now until the end of February, I'm sharing a little Valentine love with a BOGO print sale. Buy one print, get one print free with code FREEBIEFEB when you check out. Anyway guys, happy arting, gaming, and watching. See you next time.